Hello friends, welcome back to Mule S Academy. In today's session, we are going to talk about advanced uh, MU need features. So if you look at my screen right now, if you see there are three mutual exclusive path in my flow. Okay, so if you if you select any choice router, right? At any point of time, you can execute, you know, only one path. Okay, so if you want to write the immunity test cases for this particular flow, yes, there is option. You can go ahead and manually write the, the uh, test cases. So definitely we need three test cases in this scenario if you want to execute all three, uh, three paths, okay? Because all three are mutually exclusive. So yes, I can go ahead. I can say right click, okay? And uh, on your flow, right? <clears throat> So if you go ahead here and say Amunit and create test case, or you can you can use the Amunit recorder, okay? But in this session, we are not going to use, uh, you know, uh, creating a multiple test cases. We are going to use a feature called parameterize Amunit, okay? So before jumping on to the technical part and the detailed discussion, I'll encourage everyone to please go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you're not done, Hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you will get notification to the upcoming videos. Okay. So there is a proper documentation for the parameterize M unit. Okay. So let me open that. If you go to the MuleSoft documentation, they have clearly, you know, detailed documentation is there for parameterize, how to use a parameterize query. So if you look at, so there are few things we need to note down here. So we need to create a YAML file where we'll be giving, you know, uh, you know, iteration kind of, or we can say that how many test cases you want to, uh, you know, run. Okay. So you can find here, there is a file called YAML and this is the, the test. Okay. This is the test and what all you want to pass inside that test. Okay. So this is key value pair will be there. So, it, this if I write this file, whatever you're uh, seeing on my screen, so this will generate, you know, it will run two times. First will run for this one, second will run for this one. Okay. Then we need to, uh, you know, uh, tell in the Amunit configuration into tell where this file is. Okay. So that is second thing. And third thing, whatever parameters, key values we have mentioned here, we can use those in, in the uh, test case, okay? So let's look at the flow and uh, we'll start with the empty test case. So if you look at here, let's go ahead and create a simple first start with, uh, you know, create blank test case for this flow, okay? So it will create, let's hold on. So you can see here, okay, save everything. So we got, and if you are not, uh, you know, uh, familiar with the Amunit test cases, I'll encourage everyone to please go through my previous sessions on Amunit, how to use the, you know, manual process of creating Amunit and how to use Amunit recorder. You know, I have explained in detail, okay. So you can find here, there are three sections, behavior, execution and validation. So this, they, there is an order of execution here. So behavior always executed first, then execution scope, and then the validation section. Okay. So the moment you say create a unit, uh, you know, uh, for your uh, flow, automatically it adds two modules. Okay. So one module is M unit and other one is M unit tools. Okay. So you can find here, there are operations here. Okay. So if you look at my flow, which is this parameterized M unit is actually setting the event. Okay. So this guy is expecting payload. Okay. So let's go ahead and set the payload. Either we can directly use the set payload option here. Yeah. You can go ahead and use set payload here and set that. I'm not going to use this option. Okay. So all the components which are available in our um, mule flow, we can use those over here, okay? But I'm not going to use, I'm going to use the M unit options only, okay? So you can go ahead, 
if you want to set some event you can set if you want to set null uh, event null payload you can use this activity or operation so let's get this set event from here okay so if you look at the set event and what's the difference between set event and the set payload in set payload you can only set the payload okay but here in the set event there are multiple options we have okay so we can set the payload we can set the attributes we can set the error we can set the variable okay so right now we need only payload now so before setting all these things we were talking about a file right so this file parameterized.yaml file so for my flow for my flow i need three iterations first one will set the uh, payload as hello second one will set the payload as goodbye and third one will set the payload as a default okay so let's go ahead and create that file so for for saving time i have already created that file very simple file okay so this is dot yaml file don't get confused with the properties file this is not the property file okay this is a yaml file yes it follows the yaml syntax but it's not the property file okay hmm. so for first iteration this test for second iteration this test for third iteration fill this okay so from first iteration and if you are adding key value try to make sure that these keys are same in all the iterations okay so if you see here input payload here input payload here input payload expected payload here expected payload. so the key name should be same okay that's the that's the you know uh, i'll say a policy then each key will have separate value here there is a hello here there is a goodbye okay and there is a default over here so this file will be creating under the munit test resources so here munit test resources because our munit test cases will be you know looking for the resources in source test resources folder only okay so i have created here this file so once this file is ready we can go ahead and in our test cases we can refer those properties okay save everything so here when i'm saying payload i'll simply go here and there is a syntax to access those keys so you know right how to access the keys so i'll say exactly i'll copy that so i need to set this we'll go back to the properties here control p and uh, we should set the the media type so we are looking for you know plain text okay so first setting so we are setting a payload over here so we have given the dynamic value for the set event here so this will be for each iteration this value will be set accordingly okay now now once this payload is set it's generating an output so we'll be validating the output if you look at here so this is what we are expecting okay so i don't want to hard code that so we'll be taking that value from the yaml file again the same yaml file which is my parameterized.yaml this one so we'll be using this property to validate the so we'll go ahead here and we'll use operation from am unit tools which is assert equal okay so if you look at here so we'll say payload here and here we use mule scope operator then there is a p that is the function property function which reads this property and this is the and then we'll write if these two are not matching we'll say error message that uh, payload payload is not
expected. Okay, it's a meaningful message. You can write it here. Okay. Now, so we have configured it, but uh, you know, now we need to tell explicitly that where is that file? Okay, save everything. So if you go here to the global element here, now see there is a immunity configuration. So you need to tell here, see parameterization is or this option is there. So go ahead and select that file. You can add those, uh, you know, uh, key value over here. Okay, so you can say that this is the, uh, you know, uh, based on, but e instead of, you know, hard coding here, we are actually externalizing. So we are getting more flexibility. So in, in future, if you want to add some more, Taste, you know, some more iterations, we can directly go to that file and add it. That's it. Okay. So we are ready with all setup. Okay. So now if you noticed, we have only created one MNU test case and we have parameterized it. Okay. So let's see, save everything. Let's go to the test case and run it. Okay. So right click, run it. Okay. So you will watch here how many <clears throat> test cases are getting generated for us. Let's see. It will take some time. Now you see here, there are three, see, right? This exactly matching with this. So hello is one, goodbye is one, and default is one. All three will be executed. Let's see. executing and letting coverage report. No errors. I'll take a pause over here. You can see there are two things green now all three are green have a look at it okay a minute error no a minute coverage report so overall coverage is 20 percent. so i'm not running all the full flows so i'm just running my parameterized flow so yeah, you can see here and all test cases are ran successfully three out of three okay in future, if you want to add some this, you know, some more iterations over here, so you can go ahead and add that simply, you know, adding like this. Okay. So follow the, you know, so you can say here, something like this and keep on adding. Okay. So if you want to say here, let's say, empty payload, okay? And just do this, if it's not setting. So I don't need to change anything, just I have added here, let's see, and run it, okay? So go back to test. So if you look at it, Now, if you notice here, see, now we are able to see four test cases, okay? And this is the identifier will be appended to each, you know, test suit, okay? Yeah, it will run successfully. I'll take a pause over here. Now you can see that I just simply added one extra iteration over here in this parameterized file. Okay, so let me recap what we have done. So we have created one file under uh, source test resources. Okay, and we have a simple flow where we have mutual exclusive uh, paths. Okay, we can follow the uh, manual approach of creating three separate test cases. Okay, where we'll be checking, you know, payload separately, but we have options. So that is what we are leveraging. 
the parameterize M unit, which is advanced feature of M unit. Then we have defined or we have you know mentioned that file name over here in the parameterized file configuration. And then we ran the M unit test cases. Okay, so two test cases are already ran. Those are green. So all are happy. There are no issues. Okay. So this is how you can you can uh, leverage this advanced permanent feature in your project. Hope you liked it. So hit the like button, hit the bell icon, and if you're not so subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.